You're watching the SEC on ESPN. The 12th man is rocking and ready for opening day in conference play in the SEC. Texas A&M taking on Auburn, and for the first time in a long time, it does feel like the SEC West is wide open. Wigman, the check down. Nice move by Ruben Owens. The freshman makes a man miss. Shakes and bakes his way down close to the 25-yard line. This would tie Bond's career long that he put through last week from 52. Towards the uprights, he's got it. Try it, but you know, at the end of the day, football is king. Moss gets free. Le'Veon Moss all the way down to the 25-yard line. Four. He'll go down again. Boy, that pass rush has been tough to handle. There's Walter Nolan. He'll be credited with the fifth sack. Brother to brother, wide open, Jake Johnson at the goal line. He's at the pylon. Is he in? Yes. That's an a and Play action for Max Johnson. He's going to go downtown, hoping for Evan Stewart. Double coverage. He's got it. That's an a and touchdown. Right down the chimney. sack. Ashford with nowhere to go. Eventually Edger and Cooper got to him and brought him down behind the line. Chris Russell with pressure as well. Looking to make it a one-score game. This time swamped under is Ashford well behind the line. Fadil Diggs got there and he had company. A, a negative play. You want to use that timeout to preserve as much time as you can. Le'Veon Moss gets a push. That's an AM and touchdown. Being a young team now, they're an experienced unit and are looking to make some noise in this SEC West. Garriner goes down, and that will do it officially. Edger and Cooper gets the sack on fourth down. And now Texas A&M can take a knee with 1.43 to go. 27-10 is your final Texas A&M over Auburn.